Hello and everyone, in today's video we're going to try to uh, explain to you the X470 Dash Pro BIOS and teach you how to overclock or tune Ryzen CPUs on this particular motherboard. Uh, this is a very representative BIOS of ASUS board so you should probably use it uh, as a reference video for uh, basically any tuning and overclocking. Okay, uh, so here we are. Uh, firstly to get into BIOS you have to press F2 or delete key on your keyboard. So. Now that we are in the easy mode, you can clearly see we are in the easy mode up here, easy mode. We can go ahead and start our tuning. Now this is the main screen which you're gonna do a lot of things at. You have the easy system tuning, you can use it for a bit of performance uplift here. Just press Asus Optimal and you're done. Basically it will apply I think XMP and some tuned uh, settings and you should be off to the races like a 10% increase. But we're not going to do that, we are instead going to leave it on normal and head on to the advanced mode. Now here in the advanced mode we have the, uh, most of the things that we need. In AI Tweaker, now this is the AI Overclock Tuner, we should uh, use the OCP if we have memory that supports XMP. The OCP is the XMP name for AMD. Alright, uh, we choose the XMP uh, profile, then we can choose the memory frequency. I'm going to choose 3,333 MHz. I have 3,000 MHz memory, but I can use 3,333 MHz for my memory. Then custom CPU core ratio should be left to auto. This shouldn't be a problem because we are not doing a all core overclock. The CPU will do it itself. It doesn't need the aid from us. Unless you are doing a 4.1, 4.2 GHz all core, you leave this on auto, it's not needed. Okay, TPU, this is an ASUS thing, I don't, and uh, I'm gonna, TPU is an ASUS thing, you can use this for, TP, it has TPU1 and TPU2, these are pre-selected overclocking, uh, uh, okay, I see, uh, overclocking uh, profiles, and you can use them for a quick and dirty overclock, this is a 4 gig, 4 point, no, I think, 4 gigahertz, and then we have 4.2 gigahertz, or uh, 4.1 gigahertz overclock. Anyway, performance bias, you shouldn't touch it, this is for overclocking, extreme overclocking. Precision boost overdrive, this is the place that the most of the magic happens. Here we have to set the PPT, TDC, EDC limits. Set it accordingly to your desire, but these are the max values, 395, 255 and 255. Then leave everything else to auto, you shouldn't be able to touch it. These things uh, aid you in getting a more precise boost, but it doesn't have performance. Then we have DRAM timings, here we can set the timings for your RAM. Uh, then DGVRM, I recommend using optimized profiles for the CPU power phase control here, optimized. And then for the CPU SOC, optimized as well. For the low line calibration, use level 3, it's the most recommended one. And then go ahead to VDDR CR, CR CPU voltage. Now this is the CPU voltage. It defaults to I think 1.125 volts, but you can do a small undervolt of uh, about 0.05 volts that should aid your uh, performance and actually increase your boost frequency and uh, reduce the voltage that it drives at. You can also use this as a fixed mode on manual. You can set a fixed voltage here. All right, then we have the video voltage you can go up to 1.4 volts which I'm gonna do right now Oops, 1.4 volts this is perfectly safe for DDR4 memory anything up to 1.45 is safe afterwards the uh, things get hairy I don't recommend unless you have a fan pointed at your memory and a heatsink then you leave everything else on auto if you have any problems increase the VDDR SOC voltage to 1.1 volts that is safe okay then we are done with this part. Basically, all the things that we had to set, we are uh, we set already. In advanced, you have a bit of uh, CPU configuration. Make sure to have SMT mode to auto and core leveling to auto. Everything else to auto. Uh, and as far as that goes, you have AMD CBS if you want to uh, disable cores. If you want to uh, play around the C states, these are the sleep states, the hibernation states, etc, etc. 
and then DDR, uh, DRAM ECC mode and uh, I think you can set the TDP here as well and that's basically uh, everything if you want the Q fan control you have it up here for the fans F6 uh, favorites a free easy tuning wizard this will over, uh, auto overclock your CPU and uh, or uh, at F4 and that's basically everything that you have to do now the settings that I recommend if you're using 3000 MHz memory as I do here uh, you can try DDR4 3343 MHz at CL16 it should be fine with 1.5 volts on basically any memory and then as for the CPU use precision boost overdrive and if you really really want the overclock I'll leave some um, uh, how can I say data regarding uh, uh, the silicon lottery things that you have to keep in mind if you want uh, on non-core overclock but after you're all done you go ahead and exit and that's pretty much it uh, now I am planning on using my 2700x for a new review and if you do want to see it on the channel make sure to hit me up with a comment and I'll sure follow suit uh, with a video regarding the 2700x performance so that's it people thank you for watching see you in the next one